already we have seen in the last video about the pre-processing of the data set we have just done with the training setup and we have also done with the all the data analysis of the particular what we are going to use for the water quality prediction so this particular video from this video we are going to start the model building so we already done with the data preparation we already built the data set for the training also we have just divided the data set for the training and for the testing now for this particular video we are going to start with the, this the new model we can just say that is basically the first uh, classification model the first classification machine learning algorithm we are going to start that is basically a logistic regression logistic regression so logistic regression is basically we can just import this thing from the sql learn library we already uh, all, I, I already said to you that uh, whichever machine learning algorithm we are going to import that is already present in sql learn library okay so you can just go and you can just import directly logistic i can just write here logistic okay so what we can just do from here so just import this logistic li library we can just import here also for now i'm just importing here from sklearn learn dot uh, linear model from sklearn learn dot linear model from there you can just import the logistic regression so logistic regression is basically a classification algorithm uh, basically we are going to use for the all the type of uh, classification uh, mainly we are going to use for the binary classification whether you are dealing with the true false yes and no then you can just start with the particular logistic regression okay and this is how we have just imported the next thing is that uh, we we can for matrix evaluation or you you want to know about the confusion matrix uh, or what is the accuracy score of this model then you, we can also import this one from the sql library so for that what we can just do we can just import from here i think it's better we can import everything at one place okay so it's up to you where you are going to import but uh, from my suggestion for the standard form is that you just import everything at the one place that is on the top so that you can just keep on track which library you are going to use for that particular uh, model okay so what we, we are going to, we are going to write here from sql learn sql learn dot what uh, that is basically we going to import the matrix from matrix we can just import the accuracy score so accuracy score is going to give you the what the accuracy of your particular model it is okay so we can just write here accuracy accuracy score and then also we can just see the classification uh, report also we can just import the classification the report and even if you are going to go with the confusion matrix so confusion matrix is basically how many uh, uh, what is the precision and recall of that particular model it is so we will see in this detail uh, so we already imported that one so what we can just do the next step so next step is basically we have to just create the object of that particular logistic regression okay so that is object of this particular logistic regression model and how we are just creating the object we can just write the creating object of logistic regression i'm just writing here lr so i can just write a model underscore lr this is basically a logistic regression and we can just write here basically logistic regression and in this logistic regression we can just pass uh, the particular we are just creating the model and we are just passing model underscore lg and logistic regression is basically we have to just pass how many iteration it's so there are n number of parameter you can just pass it's up to you because by default also we have so much of parameter inside the lost lost regression we don't have to pass every parameter like we can just pass the first one is basically iteration for how many iteration we can just go for the random state we can pass and then and this all thing but it's for now it's limited even you can just create a, a simple uh, that is lost regression you are just creating the object of lost regression okay and you are just keeping by default what parameter it is going to pass for the lost regression Okay. this is what you uh, this is what we have done even if you want to know this about this so let me i think it will go into loading okay we will see this thing in more detail so what make the object of this and just run this one so next step is basically what we are going to do we are going to do the training of the model so training of the model is basically how we are going to start the training for this particular model so model and then the next step is basically what we will do we will just fit this particular model to train the uh, machine learning model it is really easy you have to just call the method from model which object you have just created the object of this particular uh, that is a lost regression i'm just zooming out so let's see see it was appearing 
uh, this is what I was just saying about this one so uh, by default the parameter is going to be passed so we don't have to pass for how many maximum iteration we have to just do or multi class or verbose you don't have to pass anything by default it is taking the parameter so it's up to you if you want to change some hyper parameter means this is called the tuning part so if you want to change some parameter you want you are just saying that, that I want the maximum iteration up to 120 my model has so many of data set it can just iterate so many times to get the maximum better accuracy so you can just go with this particular logistic regression also like uh, the modifying the parameter for that's why I'm just keeping everything by default value and the next step is basically I'm just training the models for training the model basically what I'm just doing model lr.fit lr.fit is basically used to train your model you have to just pass two things here we have to just pass the training that is x train comma y train x train is basically the training data that is the features and the target objects once you are going to run this one your model has been trained you, you don't have to do anything your model has been trained for that uh, for how many data set we have so basically uh, what we have just done I can explain you from starting so I, I we have just imported the lossy regression then after we have just created the object of this particular uh, machine learning model that is a lossy regression and then after we have just started the training of model so it is really a basic thing it's really an easy we don't have to pass uh, we are just writing a model underscore uh, lr dot fit so here we are going to pass the particular dot fit uh, that is dot fit particular method so model lr underscore fit is basically we are going to pass x train comma y train and x train is basically is a features and the y train is basically your the target so model dot lr dot underscore that fit so fit basically used to indicate that we are just training our model the next step is basically what we are going to do so we are going to start with the new topic that is basically not a new topic the prediction part so we have to just make some prediction in that so making prediction how we are going to start the making the prediction so making the prediction is basically uh, we we can just write here we already train we already passed the uh, data set that is for the training data set and the testing data set and now we are going to go with the prediction part so prediction underscore lg i can just write here so we already have the model that is a model underscore lr that i have just written lr basically stand for the lost regression so lr is basically um, now i'm just going to write model underscore lr dot predict dot predict is basically going to predict how the model has been trained and in this we have to pass only one parameter that is a x test because we already know that y test is actual we know that for that particular feature we know the target but we want to see how our model is predicting the target for example this prediction we already know that y test uh, underscore y test underscore is going to equal to something one by default it is going to be one okay so that is y default but model has predicted something zero we already know that both have the same features this is what we can just say okay so that was about the, the prediction part so basically we have just predicted even if you want to go for predict, uh, printing this one you can just write a uh, loss regression lg i have just written lr so we can just write here lr if, if it's fine everything in lr why i'm just writing lg you can just uh, wait uh, yeah this is how it is going to predict 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 this is how it is going to predict for this particular model 0 1 somewhere 1 somewhere 0 so this is how we are going to split this particular model so this was about the prediction part so now let's check the accuracy of this particular model we don't now want to print this model we are we are going to check this accuracy for checking the accuracy we will use the accuracy score okay accuracy score we can just write here accuracy score this part of particular model that is basically i can just write here accuracy score of logistic regression okay you can just call this particular we already imported this thing that is accuracy score and we have to just pass the particular y test that is a y actual minus y the model has been predicted by the model underscore lr okay and let's see what's the accuracy of uh, model we are going to get so we can just print here accuracy score So we are getting something around so we already know uh, accuracy score accuracy is called y test comma y predict now we can just print this one why i'm just writing it calling the font print or even you don't have to print accuracy score underscore lg i have written lost oh why i'm writing every time lg li is fine 
so we are getting approx 59% of accuracy that's is really really uh, we can just say it's not good for this particular logistic regression because we are going to again go for the decision tree random forest svm we will see so much of model so many of model and which one is the best model which one is giving a highest accuracy we are going to take that particular model this is how we have just done this for the logistic regression so for next talks we are going to start for this particular i think decision tree model we are going to start for the next video so this video was all about the logistic regression the this is the same data set we are going to use everything same training from the same training x train and y train we are only going to modify the model different type of model on the same data set that's all for this video thank you